As you're probably aware, there's a US election happening next week, on the 3rd of November. The NPR have reported as many as 63 million Americans have already cast their vote earlier this week, meaning that this election will be one of the biggest turnouts of all time. Long lines greeting some eager voters on the first day of early voting in Illinois. It's my duty. Uh, it's my duty as a voter. President Trump a motivating factor for some to wait nearly two hours to make sure their ballot was cast. I would walk through glass and hot charcoal and bare feet to make, to make this election. Thankfully to the relief of millions around the world, Joe Biden is one of the exit polls and is also one in six out of the eight swing states in America. Therefore, his chances of winning the election are looking good at the minute. While his chances are looking good, Hillary Clinton was in the exact same position just four years ago. She was thought to be triumphant that night until the night took a turn for the worse and Trump came out on top. Thank you very much, everybody. Sorry to keep you waiting, complicated business. Whilst the votes have been open for a week, many American citizens from all around the world have been voting as well. Tonight, I am speaking to Emily Lake, who is an American citizen, to see how she votes, why she votes, and what she thinks the future will be for America. I'm Emily Lake, and I've lived in the UK for nine years. I'm from Washington State, and I'm an overseas voter, so I send a postal vote. So to cast a vote, um, when you live in the UK, you need to fill out a packet that they send you via email. Um, you fill in a bunch of different questions, you print it off, sign it, scan it, and then just email it back. I have not voted yet, uh, just because there's a lot more names on the list than just presidential candidates that you have to decide on. So I'm going to do my research on that before I actually send in a vote next week. Trump has made no significant improvements on the US. If anything, he's just restarted the war on drugs and a race war, gender war, and taken away a lot of people's safe space. Americans have no voice when they live overseas. Um, it's very much like, I don't know, you, you, you kind of watch everyone else give their opinions on what's happening back home, but it doesn't feel, not, fair but it's just something that everyone around you living in the UK, your friends and teachers, they don't have to experience it the same way you do um, and they just, they're giving their opinion on something that they'll never understand or they've not had to live through. If Biden wins, we can genuinely only hope that he dies while in office and Camilla Harris takes over. That's the only way America can be salvaged at this point. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Only time will tell as to whether or not Emily will get the results she wants next week and have Biden at the top of the poll. After speaking with Emily, it is apparent just how important this vote is for Americans all around the world. If Trump is to win next week, divisions in America will only grow wider and the future for millions of Americans will be very uncertain. Thank you for joining me tonight. This has been Norm McAllister, MMM News.